Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Jamie Defang camera with the iOS operating system. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi Defang camera. Now this is a very inexpensive camera for keeping an eye on your house or your belongings whilst you're away. Also has SD card in the base so you can record footage, but you can also view the footage remotely via your mobile phone or from an application. Now if you don't know what these are and you're a little bit unsure, then I'll put some links in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. But you can pick these up for as little as about 20 pounds or $25 from gearbest.com and they've actually turned out to be very, very good for the money. Surprisingly, they've actually lasted a long time as well. I've had this one over a year now, and it's still working strong, and I've actually got three of these in the house. So let's see how you've set it up on iPhone. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you have to set up a account at Xiaomi. So if you go to www.me.com, that's mi.com, you can go in and register for an account. It's quite simple to do, just put in a username and password and then you've got yourself set up. So once you've got that set up, then you can go ahead and try and install the app on your iPhone. Now this is being done with iOS 11, but it will work with later versions and also older versions. So the first thing you want to do is go to your App Store. And in the App Store, in the search box at the top, type in Xiaomi. That's X-I-A-O-M-I. -I. Now if you scroll down, you'll see there's a... Chinese app with the Mi logo and it just says lifestyle. So click on install and put in any security information you need to such as your fingerprint ID or your password. Once that's finished installing and downloading you can click on open. Now the first thing you'll see is the login screen and also in the top right hand corner which is very important is your region. Now, if you're using this specific camera, the Xiaomi Defang, then you will need to make sure that your region is set to mainland China. Now, it may offer you the option to automatically detect your location, but you want to not do that, or at least if you do it, make sure you change it straight away to mainland China, because these will not work outside of mainland China, as a lot of people will find out. So once you've done that, change your location, put in your username and password that you created on the me.com website, you can go in and you can then view your cameras. Now this is taken into account that I've already set these cameras up manually uh, using my Android phone and added them to my account. If you want to see how to add these to an account, then you can click on the video links up here and it will take you through the installation process for that. So in the application, you go in and you can see in the menu there are the three cameras that are installed on this account. So you can go into each one, click on the camera, and then you can see what is going on in pretty much real time. Now considering the information is being bounced from your home or your business to China, then all the way back again, the delay isn't too bad at all. Now there is a slight delay, but it's nothing too distracting and it's uh, very easy to work around. You can still have a two-way conversation with these devices quite easily with a little bit of lag. So other things you can do with this camera, you can do things such as time-lapse recording. You can also do motion detection. So click on motion detection and then it will detect anything that enters the room or even outside the room and the camera will try and focus on whatever that activity is. Now this will also send a notification to your iPhone or your Android telling you that there has been a motion detection and it will save a few seconds of footage so you can see exactly what it is. This works even if the app isn't open. Now also another nice feature which I find personally is when my food is ready in the kitchen the timer goes off on the cooker and I get a notification on my phone to say that the food is ready, which is really handy if you're outside or you've forgotten about your food cooking and you don't want it to spoil or burn. So that's been how to set up the Xiaomi Defang and other cameras in the Xiaomi Mi app on the iPhone. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this has been how to set up the Xiaomi camera on an iPhone. Thanks for watching.